Okay. Uh, once again, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Farwar Rajabi, uh, PhD student at Toronto Metropolitan University. I'm presenting machine learning based fault detection and di preliminary diagnosis for terminal A handling units. Uh, the subject can be looked at under the following headings, research context and objectives, methodology, results, discussion and next steps. Uh, first of all, I would like to give you an overview of um, the work uh, that the Smart Building Research Group at Toronto Metropolitan University has been doing for the uh, past years. In our research, we are focused on creating a digital twin to reflect the state of different assets inside each building at the team use campus. And by the asset, we mean any equipment that is connected to the building automation system, and we are working on data acquired from uh, Daphne Coquel Complex, which is a new building where almost all equipment are uh, monitored through the building automation system. And um, we are currently engaged in research project focused on the development of an autonomous fault detection and diagnosis framework, and our objective is to uh, seamlessly integrate this framework with the digital twin, enabling our facility <coughs> management team to um, accurately predict and pro proactively prevent uh, equipment failures. Uh, once again, building systems, including HVAC systems, are usually subject to faults that can lead to undesirable performance. Uh, and these faults refer to uh, sensor failure, equipment failure, or faulty system operation. And the studies have shown that 15 to 30 percent of energy may be wasted due to building system faults. So uh, fault detection and diagnosis is crucial to um, ensure reliable system operation and avoid energy waste. Uh, the question is how can we develop a real-time data-driven FDD in, in a large-scale system in real building? And how can we improve the performance of FDD to ensure noise is not misclassified as false? And how can this process can be automated for uh, diverse operational conditions and different scenarios of faults? So we introduced a novel method of using uh, principal component analysis, uh, or PCA, an optics algorithm uh, for fault detection in fan cold units. And we realized that this approach enhances the accuracy of fault detection and reduces the misclassification often found in traditional um, clustering-based methods like k -means. Uh uh, we see the proposed fault detection strategy for FCU in this figure. Um, it mainly consists of three steps, data pre-processing, data clustering, and uh, result evaluation. Um, the idea is um, faulty data and normal data have different characteristics, so faulty data will be separately and temporally, uh, will be spatially and temporally separated from the normal data. Uh, and the separation between the faulty and normal data is detected using cluster analysis. Um, but we need to consider that the data in different operation modes may result in the existence of different clusters. So when we got the data from the BMS or BAS, um, we need to categorize the data into different subsets according to the operation modes of the HVAC system. For example, um, uh, is the system on or off, heating operation or cooling operation or natural ventilation. So in this study, we uh, calculated cooling energy for each data point and we used the operation data uh, with the calculated cooling energy within the interquartile range. Um, and this range represents the, ra uh, the most concentrated observations. Uh, following this, uh, we used PCA to reduce the dimensions of the data because irrelevant dimensions may prevent the dis discovery of um, real clusters. Uh, once the data pre-processing is completed, cluster analysis based on optics algorithm uh, is then used for data analysis. Uh, with optics, uh, some of the observations will be grouped into different clusters and the rest of the data in less dense areas will be grouped uh, into one cluster and labeled at, uh, as um, cluster zero, which is considered as noise and will be neglected in the later stages of the fault detection process. Uh, and then if valid clusters are identified, uh, so the total number of faults would be the number of valid clusters minus one, because we have one uh, cluster related to normal operation of the data and other clusters indicate uh, the fault. 
This is an overview of the case that we studied in Daphne Coquille Health Science Complex located in downtown Toronto at uh, Toronto Metropolitan University campus, which is a mixed use building including an um, eight stories academic podium and <coughs> sorry, 19 stories residence tower for student housing. And we have over 14,000 um, uh, BAS points. Uh, fan call units are widely used as terminal units in HVAC system in buildings and uh, are the final piece of equipment through which the air passes before it, it's, it's delivered to the uh, conditioned space. And if you, no, we don't have. Uh, sometimes if you look up, you can see them. Data were sampled from FUXX, FUYY, and FUZZ. Uh, year round during the peak heating December 2019 and peak cooling June 2020 seasons. And FTUXX is the one with a known fault for initial testing. So we requested our graph based database to provide us with various data related to measurement points, uh, comment points, and other variables that um, <coughs> affect the performance of the FCU, like hot water and chilled water, temperature being supplied, supplied to each zone. Uh, here we see the output of optics clustering, unlike most of other clustering algorithms that um, <coughs> directly group the data points into clusters. Uh, the output from optics algorithm is a list of the ordered data points with respect to the reachability distance that allows for visualizing and uh, cluster identification. The values under the threshold separated by the intersection of the threshold and the reachability distance uh, indicate the existence of cluster. For fault detection purposes, for fault detection, uh, we can um, consider the threshold as um, 0 0.5 for this, for this example, to have just two clusters, normal and faulty. Uh, or we can decrease um, the threshold to have uh, more clusters to check uh, the presence of multiple faults using um, temporal distribution of the um, identified clusters. So, um, this figure presents the results of optics and k-means, and there is a um, discrepancy between the results of the optics and k-means, um, and this occurred due to optics' ability to distinguish noise, while k-means falsely identified these as false. We checked the results with uh, Certified Energy Manager, and she verified that this indicates a lack of adequate chilled water flow to meet the cooling requirements, uh, which then, uh, further validated by the time series data trace. She also verified the presence of faults in, in, in the identified in intervals and confirmed that optics uh, was correct in ident identification of noise. However, uh, with reviewing the broader data set, she identified that fault uh, some fault missed by both algorithms during the heating season, for example, from December 28 to December 29. In order to dig deeper, we used um, Pearson correlation coefficient to find the correlation between the features. Uh, the coefficient values range between uh, minus one and one, and uh, one defines a perfect correlation between FCU features. Uh, based on the correlation, DAT or discharge air temperature, which is one of the um, uh, features of the FCU, and uh, cooling, uh, the opening of the cooling coil valve, which is CLGO, should change along a diagonal trajectory. So the tail of the points extended to the bottom left shows an unusual performance of um, the HVAC system. Why? Uh, so DAT should uh, decrease towards the right. In, instead, it's, it's increasing. Uh, to inv investigate the fault, we used color-coded PCA plots, and we added vectors to indicate the direction of change for each variable. Red arrows show um, the actual change, and the black one um, shows the expected change. The same process was repeated for the other cases of FCUs, FCU YY and FCU ZZ. Um, to better understand these faults, once again, a PCA plot was consulted for FCU YY and FCU ZZ. And these are extracts from time series data analyzed during the uh, peak heating season on the left, cooling season on the right, for FCU XX on the top, FCU YY in the middle, and FCU ZZ at the bottom. And dashed box indicate uh, the detected faults um, that confirmed by certified energy manager. And in this table, um, we can see very satisfying results. 
Uh, it's a summary of the results compar uh, comparing the optics and k-means. Uh, to conceptualize this, the null accuracy was calculated as 0 0.75. Uh, and these resu results demonstrate that PCA and optics outperform PCA and k-means in all aspects. Uh, we should, uh, uh, actually we showed that optics provides excellent results for uh, fault detection. Uh, using this method, we can automatically label our data set uh, for further developments of our algor classif classification algorithms. Uh, one of the limitations is, uh, is the relatively small sample size, just three pieces of equipment in one building, and uh, limitation to cooling operation only. Uh, currently, we are working on extending optics to all set of FCUs in the target building and label detected faults uh, to create a training data set for our classifiers and also extend the work for fault diagnosis. And in order to improve the reliability of the FDD method, uh, we are working on incorporating a semi-supervised learning method like label spreading. Once again, as, a, as an acknowledgement, um, NSERC, Fuse Forward, and Toronto Metropolitan University facility management team uh, support our studies. Thank you very much. <laughs>